In this video, we will look about the MRP live and the low level code. Because many times uh, people understand about the planning file entry, but uh, they have a very less or limited understanding of what this low level code is. So first thing, what is low level code in SAP? In SAP, materials like when you say one component can be part of multiple products in certain products it can be in level one certain products it can be in level two like this correct a raw material or a packaging material or a semi-finished goods so what sap does is sap tries to map the in a hierarchical way where this particular material is placed in as part of product structure that is called as low level code okay it is the lowest level of usage in the product structure so that is how this tries to map it okay you can see this low level code in the material master also and some of the key points of usage on the low level code the first is a purpose the low level code ensures materials are planned in the correct order so this will help the planning when the mrp live or a classic mrp is happening okay so it will help to plan in the correct order and how does this order is being sorted is first it will try to start with the lowest level so it's a three digit number like you can see it will be 000 so it will try to start the 00 number and then it will go to 001 then it will try to go to the 002 when i say 000 means all the materials it will try to take the planning file entry and then it will try to take all the materials which are all part of the triple zero okay that is what it tells here during the mrp run hierarchy means low level code indicates the materials using higher level assemblies or sub assemblies it helps to have the hierarchical structure and this low level code cannot be managed to maintain manually it is an automation of the system the system only sets the low level code based on the bill of material structure so when you create a bomb based on that this comes and gets fixed in the uh, material master okay so let's see a simple example you can see these are the explosion levels you have a product FERT so the FERT material in this example are all having a level 0 okay so explosion level is 0 if you see the low level code it will be 000 in SAP I will show that in SAP also then uh, the next level you can see is HALB which is like it is having a 0001 then it has a 0002 then it has 0003 now how does the MRP live plans you can see it will take all the materials which are part of the low level code 0 and it also if it has a planning file entry then it will plan them and then it will go to the level 1 then to the level 2 then to the level 3 so this is how the planning will happen in the combination of planning file entry plus the low level code okay so this is very important part so where can we find this you can find this in the mara table or you can also find in on the material master record also each material has a low level code and uh, this is determined by the bill of material which we have already seen it okay uh, and also when you go to the material master in mm03 if you put the material and see that you will be able to find the low level code now we will see in the sap how the low level code is created or how it is getting updated etc in the sap material master how the low level code is can be seen so if you go to a material then if you click the information icon on the material now you can see there is a low level code that has been created correct so this is a low level code so for every material you will find a low level code in the system okay now i am just going to show you a set of materials so here you can see this these are all my materials something which i have created so all of them are having a low level code okay so you can see some of them are triple zero 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 one zero zero two etc and all so if you want to see for the same material i am trying to run a bill of material there you can see how it is being created okay so this is a bill of material so i have to run some plant another thing you can see this is my this material will have a triple zero and then this material let me try to show you this and yes let me keep it like this okay so the m25 underscore one has a triple zero that is the the finished goods line of thing okay below that you have this 10 20 30 40 which is having 25 c1 c2 c3 and all so you can see they are all having double zero one you can see here uh, what is my low level code i can try to bring it the low level code here 
so let me try to bring the low level code here you can see here so this is the low level code okay so you have you see this is a low level code here so this is an example in a bill of material structurally how this low level code is there so you can see this this material is below the c1 so there is a 0 0 level then this is the first level and this is going to the second level okay so now you can see this is double zero two so this is how the structure is getting filled in in the bill of material okay now let us look at the planning fail entry okay so whenever you go to a planning fail entry that time you can see you may have the planning so here there is no planning fail entry which has got activated but along with the planning fail entry you can see some of the code levels okay so triple zero double zero one so this is what i said like system will first to try to plan all the triple zeros and then double zero ones okay so this is all about the uh, uh, you know uh, low level code and in mrp live this is very important because based on this low level code only system will be planning the uh, mrp live data okay thanks for watching this uh, video about the mrp live so if you have any queries or questions or any suggestions uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, we will take the conversation from there thank you very much see you in the next